Now to an update on a program originally spearheaded by a city in the South Sound to help small business cover the cost of vandalism. $300,000 total were earmarked for Tacoma's window replacement program. Now there's the issue of that program being too popular and the window to get some financial help is now closed. That means a good number of businesses missed out on that money. Fox 13 News reporter Steve Kiggins has more from Tacoma. We're talking about businesses like this Chevron here on South 56. It's been in the same family for nearly 30 years. Family tells me they believe that since the Tacoma Police Department is down officers, that's having an impact on responses, and that's why they believe the city should be responsible to help them pay some of these breaks. If we would have known about it, we would have definitely applied. Christopher Elgar Garway is working solo today. He says break ins at the food mart happen nearly every month until they installed bars on the windows. It's a lot for the business to absorb. Super thin, especially with gas prices right now and everything going up. And this city isn't the uh, richest of cities, so yeah, margins are definitely low right now. This week, the Tacoma City Council's Economic Development Committee heard an update on a program paid for by the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. The window replacement grant program took applications until the end of May. It continues distributing grants in equal numbers across Tacoma's five legislative districts, plus downtown. But the city says more businesses continue reaching out for help, asking for assistance paying for other vandalism, including the theft of expensive air conditioning units. The Elgar Gaways sent council an email asking for help after missing the deadline. The message detailed how the window fund should cover more, saying in part, quote, I've been broken into four times and unfortunately held up two times. Each time we are required to replace any damaged broken glass and the financial burden has become very difficult. That message left committee member Bushnell frustrated. Four different times and then having your, your freaking employees, you know, robbed at gunpoint or, you know, violence. Like, how is that perception? How are we losing? What are we losing out? Because we're, we're clearly losing out on businesses that would want to open up here and we're losing out on potential jobs and it so it's uh I'm a little upset about this. City staff said they had not heard from businesses avoiding Tacoma instead saying more than 1200 new businesses have opened since the pandemic. You're basically left with little to nothing. Elgar Gawe says the staffing troubles at Tacoma PD means vandals are free to cause mayhem. A definite uh, responsibility of the of the city that they should be reimbursing uh, owners for, for break-ins like this. The city says it's already processed around 34 of those applications for the broken windows program. They say they need some more paperwork from business owners to process another 75. A city spokesperson told me that any expansion of the program is going to depend on additional Rescue Plan Act funding. And to come with Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.